Nossa, então... solve this problem. It will only worsen it. Baby, I understand perfectly. But I am the one wearing these shoes and I know where it pinches. Baby, that's where you got it all wrong. I'm your husband, remember? Okay, we're in this together. And I'm also concerned. But I'm consoled by the fact that children are going to come at the right time. We don't give children. Nobody gives children. Baby, I know you're concerned. But I am a woman, and it's the women that feel it the more. Maybe I'm bothered. I know. But look, there are also many people out there facing similar situations, so... I am not concerned about people. I am concerned about myself. I know, but if you always remember the fact that you're not alone, there are also other people out there. It will calm you down. <laughs> Some water to drink. That's not a problem. Right away, my <laughs> Come on, yeah? The people in the village. They are very fine. They are okay. Yes. We thank God. Okay. Mama, I know you must be tired and hungry. Look, we have a lot of things in the kitchen. Just name it and I'm at your service, <laughs> Mama. My daughter, washing the food now will not, will not be of any use. Hmm? Mm. 
I came to stay for weekend and I have every time to eat whatsoever thing I want to eat. So for right now, I need rest. Huh? Whenever you want to eat it and whatever you want to eat, tell me. And I'll be at your service, Mama. Don't worry no yourself. Problem, no problem, but Mama, for now, eh? Mm. Let me take your things to your room. Then I'll get you a cold glass of juice. Mm. Is that okay, Mama? I'm waiting. Okay, Mama. Okay. Mama, I'll be at work, Mama. the little girl you used to know, you know. Really? Mm -hmm. Look at her. Hey! Mama, fast! Hey! Save me! Who are you? You too. You're a big girl now. Where are you coming back from? From school. Welcome. Hey! What is it that Angela is feeding you people? Please, whatever is feeding you people, you should reduce so You people are overcoming your feet. <laughs> I want to stay with Mama a little bit. You want to stay with Mama a little bit? Allah, remember. Remember, it's my mother, not yours. <laughs> Are you jealous? Mama, I'm going to rush with you. I missed you. I missed you. Stay with me. 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 Stay I am so much worried and concerned about this childlessness of yours. It changes my mood each time I remember that this marriage still had nothing to show for. That is why I decided to come, to know how far you've been going about it. Well, Mama, um, I'm not really doing anything about it because there is actually nothing to do. I cannot kill myself. I'm waiting for the right time so I will have children. You see, you see my son, it pisses me off any time we want to talk about this. You kept telling me about waiting for the right time. Don't you know that time waits for no man? And besides, children are the blessing and joy of every marriage. So what are you talking about? You're right, Mama. But for me, I see a peaceful home first. If you have a peaceful home, then you have children, beautiful. But if you have children without a peaceful home, you're going to have problems. In my own case, I have a peaceful home already. Children will come. The worst is this. I don't even see the born again in you that makes you to have this kind of hope. Eh? Mama. <laughs> and who says you have to be a born again before you can have hope? Patience begets hope. So. Sure. You now feel that the patience you have is not yet okay for you. You've not had enough patience for all these solid years. Is that what you want to tell me? Patience comes to an end when your dream comes true. And so, how can these dreams of yours or dream of yours come true when you refuse to work for it? How can it work? Mama, and who says I'm not working for it? Huh? I may not be doing things your own way, that doesn't mean I'm not working for it. Maybe that's your problem. You want me to do things your own way. But... Oh, mama. See, eh? See? My son, I don't care whichever way. I don't care and I don't bother. All I need you to do is for you to listen and listen good. I and your father suffered so much to have other children after you. It proved abortive. We gave you all the necessary support that leads to your success today. As for you to get married as your only son. We decided 
to hope in you to fill the family before he died. And my dear, if you do not give me my grandchildren before my own time, I won't be happy with you. Have I made myself clear? The sooner you go about it, the better for all of us. Because my patient is lost. Good night. Oh yeah. I'm like someone in the middle of the road. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. I'm the fan there. Oh God. I'm a mobile I told you that women are the ones to be blamed. You see what I'm saying? You see? See what? Have I blamed you for our situation? Your mother is indirectly laying the blames on me. Please, baby, I beg you. Do what she says, please. Baby, there is nothing we can do about this. I'm sorry. Your mother says she wants to see her grandchildren before she dies. And I don't want anyone laying any curse on us, especially your mother. Please, I beg you, just make her happy. Baby, please. I support you getting a second wife, just like your mother rightly said. Excuse me. Excuse me. What did you just say? How dare you say such a thing? And who's been feeding you with such, such, such ideas? I just know this will be your exact reaction. I don't want your mother to lay any cause on me or any of us. Just make her happy. Just do what she wants, please. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I will not do what you just asked for. I will not take another woman, another wife. Never. And I do not want to have this discussion again. I know. How are you doing? 
Uh, I'm fine. Thank God. Everything we have, we thank God. You're right, my sister. But, Angela, this your face is not looking bright at all. What is the problem? No, nothing. Everything is fine. Are you sure? Truly, everything is fine. I was actually on my way to the salon, so, and I was even thinking of coming to your house. Coincidence, you see? Are you serious? Yes. What a coincidence. I was also waiting for a cab to go to the salon. Oh, really? Why don't you happy? Let's go together then. All right, thank you. <laughs> Keeping you for opening the gate for me all this while. Sorry, well. sorry, Because, eh? Eh, eh, eh. what did you buy for me? What did I buy for you? Yes. It's enough food you're eating, and you're looking for what I need. Of course. Okay, I bought myself. Ah, I don't understand you. You mean you buy yourself for me? Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, don't you want to eat? If you go, Amaka. Yeah, yeah, thank If you go, Amaka. Hey. you carry your child since you're making it. Says who? Eh? I say says who? When do you start doing baby moves? Madam, is there anything wrong with helping you to carry your child eh? while you're doing it with her? Madam, why are you 
you talking to her like that? Do you know her? Yes, I do. I know her. Who does she know Angela in Angela in this area? Eh? Why would she help me carry my baby? Does she know what when you want to ask the person about it? Madam, may God forgive you for saying this. May God forgive you for putting your mouth in a matter that does not concern you. Stephanie is your sister, and all of you are making a very good home. Cause you of your humble self. Mama, I want to thank you too. I also want to appreciate Jessica and Stephanie for their cooperation and understanding. Honestly, I'm amazed at their level of maturity. I owe them my happiness too. Mama, thank you. Thank you, my daughter. One more thing. Ah, you see Ben, my son? Yes, Mama. He's my only son. The father died some time ago. And I wouldn't want the family lineage to wipe off just like that. Are you hearing me? Yes, Mama. We need a child in this house. All I'm saying is that we need a baby in this house. Mm. Mama. I'm not God that gives children. My daughter. Mama. I am not blaming you for that. But I know there are other ways we can sort it out. Oh, Mama. There are two options here that any family can go about it. The first option, either the family decide or have intention of adopting a child in the home. And I don't think I buy the idea of an adoption. Why the second option is either the family member may decide to get a second wife. Are you listening? So my daughter, I need by my son to get a second wife. You still have your right as a first wife. The peace and unity that is existing in this family, I wouldn't mind taking the second wife with me staying at home at the village. I need a grandchild. Mama. <laughs> Mama, thank you very much. I've hit you. Mama, I'd like to go to bed. Good night. But I want to tell you, 
is the benefit for every one of us. I want you to understand. Please, my daughter. Thank you. Okay, Papa. Sister Angela, you should stop crying because there's nothing our Lord Jesus Christ cannot do. His gift comes at his own appointed time. Remember Sarah in the Bible when she lost all hope completely. The Lord Jesus Christ visited her and wiped away her tears. So keep on praying and hoping that one day your joy shall not know about. Did you hear the pastor? Pastor, there is nothing I have not told her. Pastor. Anywhere I go, people mock me. Even in my own home, I am being disturbed. Pastor. I am barren. No, Sister Angela. God did not create his own children to be barren. Like I've said before, he does his own things at his own time. Even the Bible made us to understand in the book of Psalm chapter 9, verse 10. It says, And they that know thy name will put their trust in him. For thou, O Lord, hast not forsaken him that seek you. So keep on praying. The Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We, your children, have come to you in your presence. Father, we pray that this day shall be a day of joy. Amen. A day of new beginning. Amen. Your joy shall be found in Jesus' name. Amen. You shall be blessed. Daniel. Mama, welcome. How are you? I'm fine though. If you go no more. <laughs> oh, welcome. How was your journey? It was fine, thank God. How is your husband? I hope he's finer than you. He's fine. He's doing good. Mama, how is your health? <sighs> Ada. Any day I see a new dawn, I give glory to the Almighty. Mama, you look good. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> welcome. Thank you, Mama. Oh, I'm sure you must be hungry. When I brought you. Oh, ah! Hello! Oh. God will bless you, my Thank daughter. You. Oh, hello! Oh. Mm -hmm. This one. This is very fine. Thank you. Hello! Oh. Uh -uh. Hi! So, Mama, that's the long story. I have done virtually everything, and nothing seems to be working. Mama, I'm just confused. <laughs> just confused. No. No, you shouldn't be. Huh? You shouldn't be. If I tell you I don't know how it feels, I'll be lying to you. I know how it feels to be in a marriage for so many years without a child to show for it. But just calm down and put your trust in God. You will have children. Mama. <laughs> My husband and I are under serious pressure from the mother. Mama, I don't have a problem with him getting a second wife, no. But 
But each time the mother comes visiting, it's like I'm the cause of the whole problem. <laughs> Don't say that. How can you be the cause? You've been having miscarriages. That shows you're not barren. Since you... Come on now, you cannot be barren. You will soon conceive. Trust in God. I can't wait. No, 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 no. no. Uh, it's okay. You will have children. You will have a lot of children. God will give you children. There are some women who have never been pregnant in their lives. Yet God gave them children. Why will God not give you children? Just wait for his time. Okay? Mm -hmm. You will do it. Just calm down. Calm down. I want to go to the farm, but I'm waiting for the sun to go down. Ah, it's too much. Mm. Uh, Mama, mm. let me start leaving for the city. Johnny Messi's home. No matter what happens to you, place your trust in God. Oh? Mama, thank you so much. Always remember everything you Ah, Uncle? My dear. Hey. Ah, good afternoon, sir. How are you? Okay, okay, no. How are you? I'm fine. Hmm. Alright. I'm fine, sir. I thank you very well. You are your way to the city. Um, please sit down. Give it to your husband when you go to the city. Wow. I know he likes pan wine a lot. Okay, sir. Huh? Hey. You always disturbing yourself over mm -hmm. gifts to give to them. And every time my daughter comes home, you must look for something to give her. <laughs> this pan wine now. You would have just sold it to make some money. Oh, no, 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 no. This is just a token compared to what our, our in-law does for us. Okay. Eh? Please, when you reach the town, greet him for me. Eh? I wish you a safe journey. Thank you. Journey, mercy. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Mm. Yes, and a very good man as well. Yeah, he is. You know, he knows you too well. If you see the way he, he insisted I took this pan wine, you will think that you grew up in his house. I'm telling you. Well, you will not blame him. A good in law is a good in law. <laughs> I'm a good in law. Oh, you are, darling. <laughs> hey, 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 girls. Take it easy with this thing. It was sent to me, eh? especially for me and not you. Too easy. Especially you, Stephanie. Remember, you're a student and also a woman. You're not supposed to take alcohol. Mm. Hmm? Mm. Slow down. You people have done justice to this. It's nice, yeah? Mm. Alright, on that note, girls, let me sign out. Yes, I had a very hectic day at the office when I make it. I know, darling. See you girls tomorrow. I'll be with you shortly. Good night, sir. Good night. 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 Good you know, someone in her condition needs somebody to be consoling her. So I might have to go to the city soon. In that case, it's a good idea. 
have to be on my way now. Uh, are you going straight to the meeting? Yes, but I have to see Mama Ibuka before going. I have an appointment with her. Biko, let me give you my dues money so that you can pay for me, oh? Tell me. Caro, Caro. <laughs> oh, bye bye. comes visiting, the, the pressure she mounts on you, it really gets to me, baby. Don't worry about my mother, I can handle her. No, baby, I'm a woman. I know, I know what it feels like. Baby, please, just, just do it. I will support you. I want to guarantee your happiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This will be the first time I will disappoint you. No. Baby, you promised me that you always see me happy. Yes, I promised. And this particular time, this time, I say it again. No. Baby, I want happiness to be restored in my home. I want someone to be happy. Did you this there's more to happiness than what you're asking for, okay? Just think about it. Please. Alright, fine. I'll think about it. Are you happy now? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. I love you. I love you too. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Before my brother comes back from work, I meet us running around the compound. Your brother? Mm hmm I thought he's your sister's husband. And he's Jessica's brother. Yes, he's my sister's husband, but I still call him brother. Ah. Uh, uh, Stephanie, Red, something I want to tell you. Very serious. Uh, what could that be? Uh, uh, I, I like you so much. Uh, you know, each time I see you, uh, uh, my body. Uh, 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 you like me? Uh, yes. <laughs> mm, thanks for liking me. Can I go now? Hey! But you have not said anything. Stop! Ah, 
and you some soldier on the phone what is the matter hmm. um Alex how would you feel if you wake up one morning and find out that your wife is making you go against your wish well it depends on what she wants it's something I can do why not I will do it for her but it's something I can do no it would definitely be my answer so why do you ask my wife and my mother they're asking me to take another wife wow <laughs> that's a fantastic one if your wife and come up with such an idea. I think you should you jump at it. I'd be happy, my, mom, my brother. But my friend, you don't even understand. Oh, ben, come on, tell me. What is there for me to understand? That a wife cannot conceive and she wants to bring in another woman who will conceive and give you children? Oh, come on, I expect you to, to grab the offer and be happy. Make yourself happy, my brother. Look, the problem is she's making me go against my wish. She wants me to do something I, I, I don't intend to do. Oh, Ben, you're sounding as if you're the one that is imposing this, this idea on her. No, she came up with the idea. Why not grab it, do whatever she wants you to do, make yourself happy, and also make her happy. Look, if I'm in your shoes, honestly, I will jump at the offer. That is gospel truth. Going against your wish cannot guarantee happiness. At all. You'll only be sad. You, you end up regretting the whole thing. It can't. Then, you look for alternative. <laughs> the only alternative is just to be patient. That's the one I know. Patience only work when one person is involved. But when two persons are involved, I'm sorry. Pressure is definitely going to step in. And that's exactly what you're passing through. All right, and um, but since we got to yours first, why don't you accompany me a little further? <laughs> no, 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 some other time, okay? As you can see, the sun is too intense. No problem, I've heard you, you always say that the sun is too intense, <laughs> please. <laughs> okay, well, mine is still down the road, it's don't you anyway. Okay, this way, yeah, down there, but all the same, see tomorrow at the lesson center. All right, then, yeah. <laughs> and don't forget to come with my textbook tomorrow. I will not, thank you, bye. Here. What are 
Why do you want to give me the second thought? I'll give you to what? If this is your own idea of contributing, then I say no. Okay? What are you saying? And you go to the and you call it contribution, I say no. I will not do it, so let this matter be No, 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 no. Not going to give me an answer to it now. You want an answer? Yes. Fine. Are you ready for the answer? Yes. The answer is no. Huh? No. No. There is something I would love to discuss with you. Okay, sit down, ma. Thank you. Sister, huh? it's about you and your husband. The way you both shouted at each other last night was nothing to talk more about. So as your little sister, I've come to know, is there any problem? Steph, whatever that happened is between husband and wife, okay? But everything is fine, trust me. Everything is perfectly fine. So you mean everything is okay? You're my sister. My blood for that matter. Hmm? If there's anything, if there's something going on, you know you're the first person I'll confide in. But I tell you, I put it to you that everything is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Okay. It's just that I was not able to sleep yesterday. Mm, what would you like to have? Hmm, let me see. Uh, what about fufu and white soup? How about that? <laughs> Sister, no, 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 you're kidding me. How can, and where do you expect me to get fufu this morning? Uh, maybe when you go to the village, Mama will give you that. <laughs> Don't worry, whatever you prepare, I'm fine, okay? Let me just finish up and dress it up. Alright, see you later. Thank you so much. Here is a file you asked me to prepare. Thank you. Can go. Sir, marketing manager of Chase Global Limited came looking for you. Did he drop the letter I asked him to bring? No, sir. But he said he'll call you on phone to discuss something important. All right, you can go. Sir. Is there any problem? Oh, Tony, I leave. Leave. For the salon, so I'll soon be back. Please do take care of the house. Okay, Auntie. Auntie, make sure you make good hair. I always do. Thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna ask you all come. I'm fine, thank you. Uh, is my wife at home? No, she went to make her hair.
no hungry. Okay, baby. Um, I'm set for work. My breakfast should be ready by now, right? Steph has taken care of that over an hour ago. Excuse me? And did I just hear you correctly? Oh, yes, you heard me perfectly. Your food is on the dining table. And when does Steph become my wife and she now makes my meals? Whether she does or I do is the same thing. The most important thing is that your food is on the dining table whenever you need it. Pibi, what has come over you? And why, why, why the sudden change in attitude? Why? Because they say change is a constant thing in nature. Yeah. Mm. I don't believe this. I don't believe my, my loving wife has suddenly become strange to me. And I can't believe that my lovely wedding husband cannot see reasons with me. Instead, you want me to die of pain and regret. Says who? Isn't it obvious you're being egocentric? Egocentric? Mm-hmm. Me? Egocentric? Okay. Don't blame me. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have asked for your food this morning. Just Sister, Sister frankly speaking, I think something is wrong somewhere with what happens these days. Tell me, what is the problem? Um, Steph, I have told you before and I'm telling you now, everything is fine. Okay? Nothing is wrong. Sister, I am your sister. And you can confide in me. Talk to me. What is the problem? Okay. Since you insist, I will tell you. It's all about my brother-in-law's illness. This illness has eaten up my husband's money, a whole lot of it. And is affecting him psychologically. <sighs> but sister, what kind of sickness that can make one reject his meals? Almost on daily basis. That's because he doesn't feel like eating. For days? Sister, are you sure? He is my husband. So I know him better than you do. Huh? Okay. If you say so. Yes, I said so. Yes, I should go inside then. I never took you serious. 
Tunduka, because I play with you all the time. That's why you think you can tell me anything, Abby. Tunduka, I don't blame you. Ah, no, Steph, now. Hey, look, to God with me. I, I, I am not joking. I am serious. Okay, wait. <coughs> Look, this is my salary. Just keep it for me. Just to tell you I have trust in you and good intentions towards you. Eh? Hold you out here this night because of what I've been seeing in this house. And I know I'm just a little girl, but with the look of things around, it seems you have something troubling you because you're no more my brother I used to know. Uh, nothing is troubling me, everything is fine. Hmm? Brother, the four of us have lived in this house for some years now. So I am not. This family is known for a happy family. But now, things have changed totally. Did Mama offend you on her last visit? Um, Mama did not offend me. And everything is fine. I don't think there's any cause for alarm. See, my wife, Fandula, and I, we are like one flesh. Same blood. Okay? So we have nothing to worry about. Just that, uh, maybe because um, recently I've got too much workload from the office. I think that's what's weighing me down. But apart from that, I'm fine. Brother, you should better be. <laughs> this is my little sister. <laughs> so you're this caring. So you know when your brother is unhappy. Of course, not to my brother. Uh, you should go and get yourself a <laughs> husband. Honestly, this, this whole thing is really getting to me. I don't know what's going on anymore. I, I'm so confused. Ben, what is it this time? My wife. <laughs> My wife and I, you should see the way we live right now. We, we, we fight over meaningless things. We, I, we quarrel and shout at each other almost every day and every night. To make matters worse, she doesn't even make food for me anymore. She sends her sister to make my meals. Can you imagine that? Honestly, Ben, I I don't know how you feel if I should tell you that you are the cause of your problems. Yes. A simple task that your wife asks you to, to, to do for her, which is completely in support of what I want to do my email. Finish. That's just only that. Look, do you think it's every woman that will allow their husband to do such a thing? No. You, you can't yourself a lucky man. So you believe this thing is my fault? I'm to blame? Of course, you're to, you're to be blamed. Can you say such a thing? Okay, fine. What if I decide to do this thing and something bad turns out? Eh? Um, when we get to that bridge, we will surely know how to cross. So what are you saying in essence? Save yourself the stress. Do what others do. But you know me. I'm not the kind of person who does what other people do. I do things that please me. Ben, not only affect and influence the way people live. If it does, then you don't have the decision to make all alone. No! Anyway, when you're done with office work, give me a call. Let's hang out and take one or two bottles, man. Mm -hmm.
Where are you coming from? the meaning of that attitude you pulled out there? Well, it's very simple. I was silent because your question was completely irrelevant. Really? Okay, I'll ask you again. Where are you coming from at this time of the night? I owe you no explanation. You owe me every explanation because I am your wife and not your slave. And you will not dictate to me in my own house. We've had a peaceful home until you came up with this stupid idea of yours that keeps you on balance all the time. So it shouldn't be a problem if I go out there to seek a balanced mood, okay? Oh, yes. so you're not looking for a home away from home? Fortunately, yes. Until you become friendly again. Is that how you want it? That is how you want it. Hold on, please. Allow me, I want to rest. This didn't turn out like this. Why? Imagine my happy home being turned upside down almost on a daily basis. I no longer have peace in my house. No peace with my wife anymore. Am I really doing the right thing as the man of the house? Ben, you just have to do something before it gets out of hand. Father, please give me my own children and save me from this embarrassment, this trauma. I'm tired of the miscarriages all the time. Please, I need a child, a child that will stay. I think I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. See you are set for school. Nice. Did you see my wife? No, I haven't seen her this morning. Mm. Is there any problem? Uh, no, no, not at all. Okay, take care. Thank you. 
roll and fight. Alright, let's open up. I've got good news. Please. Food smells pretty good. <laughs> good afternoon, Auntie. Good afternoon. I'm in a pretty good mood today, okay? You know what? Why don't you just continue with the dishes while I finish up with the cooking? Because my husband is out there hungry and I need to serve him food. <laughs> okay? Oh, sister. Um, yeah, what's up? And what is this bit of wings this week, Simon? Well, never mind. It's between my husband and I. Don't be jealous. Don't be. <laughs> okay, if you insist. But it's just that I've not seen you this happy for a long time now. Okay, let's just say something extraordinarily happened to your sister today. That is so, so good. Honestly, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> and I believe this thing that is actually making you this excited is the same thing that weighed you down since, right? Come on, sister. Come on. I feel I told you the reason. It has nothing to do with this. Trust me. Nothing, absolutely. Okay, it's okay. The most important thing is that my sister is happy. And I'm happy too. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy. So, no, 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 no. I'm here. I'm going to cook this food. Okay? Just do your thing. Okay? Fine. Oh, happy day. Oh, why did you keep that pot? It's dead. Okay. Oh, let me get there. Alright. Don't you think you're escalating the whole issue by the decision you've taken? It could be fatal, you know, if you don't give to them. Oh, my brother, what do you want me to do now? You know what, I have no other option. I can't just sit down and watch my, my, my family get torn apart. No. You know, the, the love, the peace that I shared with my, my wife, all gone. It's killing me, honestly. It's affecting me mentally and physically. I'm torn up. And you think being deceptive could bring back your happiness. For how long will you keep deceiving her? Tell me. <laughs> My brother, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but as you always say, when we get to that bridge, we shall cross it. Oh, Ben, you, you're already at that bridge. And whatever action you take right now could get things shut out. Oh, I know what that means. You looking at your dream not being actualized? Oh? You're getting drunk. I'm confused. I must tell you, you allow the confusion to be for you, else you know what you have done to, to make it disappear. It's the next time. Don't make promises that you can keep. Let the world be your own. So, sweetheart, tell me. How far have you gone with your arrangement and when are you bringing the new girl? Uh, uh, <clears throat> soon. Soon. I'm actually taking my time so I don't make mistakes. Baby, so. don't you think we should involve your mother in this? I mean, she could be able to get us a very fine young girl. What do you think? Uh, that's unnecessary. <laughs> I can find a wife myself. Besides, I wanted to come as a surprise to my mother. Don't worry, I can handle it. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you. I promise you, I will never forget this. Thank you. It's all right. Anything to make my wife happy, I'll do it. Okay? I love you. <laughs> I love you too.
Are you ready? Yes, brother, I'm ready. All right, fine. Um, <clears throat> when you get to the village, make sure you spend some good time with Mama. Huh? Find out exactly how she's doing. Okay, brother. If the sickness is quite serious, then you may decide to bring her down to the city so she can get better treatment in a better hospital. I will. Okay, fine. Let me take you to the park. So tell me, when am I visiting your house? At least to meet with your auntie. Well, we will have to plan on that later. You know I don't live with my parents. So that means you have to invite me over first. Why? Because you have the right to attend to visitors in your house. Me, I don't have that right because they are not my parents. Well, you know you don't start something from the end. You start it from the beginning. And your house stands first before mine. I see. So do you see the reason why you have to be seated first before we come over to my house? All right, no problem. You're welcome anytime. Okay. As you can see, I'm really hungry and famished. Let's start going already. Do you like food? Oh, you know what I make you go at it. Let's go, Jerry. Okay. How will I stand my wife? If she eventually finds out that I'm not serious about this. Ben, I think you have taken the wrong step because this could be making matters worse. I mean, what do I do now? Do I tell her I'm no longer interested? Eh, that I was never serious about this? Alex could be right, you know. Oh my God, Ben, you caused it. I should have stood my ground initially. Ada, since you told me what you called good news, my mind has not been at rest. To think that you could ever tell your husband such a thing after my advice. I'm baffled, truly. Mama, I know what I am doing. Mama, I can no longer stand the threat of my mother-in-law to my husband. Mama, I don't want her to, to see it like I'm the one holding her son from getting a second wife. Mama, do you know that I no longer follow my husband to the village anymore? Ada, you're taking this thing too hard on yourself. But let me ask you a question. Has she ever confronted you on this issue? Yes, but, but not that harsh. But Mama, what other confrontation do I expect other than the one she gives to her son? Mama, she's speaking to me directly. You see, you make me wonder if you still pray. Because you sound as if it's the end of the world. You're sounding as if you have given up, that you, you can no longer conceive. Mama, I know that I will conceive. But for now, I just need peace in my life. I need peace. I just need peace. 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 Be very honest with me. Are you truly at peace with that suggestion? Yes, Mama. Yes, for now I do. Until God chooses to give me a child, I, I, I have peace. So, has your husband started making arrangements? Um, yes, Mama. That's why I felt that I should let you know first. Ah! ah. God! God! Why are all these happening to me very soon? My daughter was still sharing her husband with another woman. God! God! Oh! No, it's going to be well. Everything is going to be fine. Please. 
love you. <laughs> Mama, please sit down, please. Hey. <laughs> Are you through with the food? Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm through again. Okay. Thank you. Sir, boy you didn't touch your food. Hope all is well. Uh, uh, yes, all is, all is well. really happening first it was my sister and now her husband I thought she said everything has happened and why is the husband losing consciousness every minute of the day without being told I know something is wrong but my sister has refused to let me know Maybe it's for the married ones, as she area pointed out. Just maybe. I never knew that you are this good. <laughs> In fact, let me pray for you. Eh? Our father! Oh, please stop that rubbish. What's the meaning of that? I hope you're okay now. Yeah. Yes. And the money is complete. Yeah, very. So you better go now before my uncle comes back and meet you here. Yeah. Mm. I am completely disappointed. I mean, how could you have allowed such a thing happen when you fully know you're not doing the right thing? Come on, Steph. You're not a baby to have indulged in such act. You're not now. Evening. I am disappointed myself. I don't know what came over me. I know I've done what no man has done before. And believe me, it's seriously haunting me. <laughs> why won't it haunt you? No, tell me, why won't it haunt you? When you have allowed yourself to be tempted by the devil and he has planted his ugly seed right from that very day. I won't let that happen again. I promise. I won't. Only if you will agree with me. I know how these things work, oh. I know. It is better you don't just get involved at all. Evening. Evening, are you saying I did that intentionally? Evening, come on. This could have happened to anyone. Even you. God forbid. Sophia, never in my lifetime will I allow such evil before me. Never. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, just pray it doesn't happen again. Yeah, stop crying. You make me cry too. I didn't know what came over me. I didn't. I'm not saying it's entirely your fault, okay? Come here. I'm crying, it's Steph. Sister, good morning. Good morning. Are you okay? Yes, sister, I'm okay. Are you sure? I'm perfectly okay, sister. Huh? 
Okay. This gets me some apples in the fridge. Okay. Sweetheart, have you noticed Stephanie's behavior recently? No. Why do you? The other day, I, I saw her, she was down in deep thought. And the next time I saw her, she was vomiting. Though she didn't notice my presence, but there's something wrong. Or did she tell you that she was ill while I was away? No. No. She never mentioned anything like that to me. But I don't think there's anything to worry about. Wow. But, um, Stephanie is an adult. Yeah. I believe she can take care of herself. Very good care of herself. And I think that's why she didn't bother to tell you. To be something minor. Mm -hmm. But you, you can go ahead and ask. Some time now, your behavior has changed completely. Every time I ask you, you tell me everything is okay. When we both know that nothing is fine. So I ask you, is there something you need to tell me? Sister, I am fine. Nothing is wrong with me. It's just a slight fever, which I've already taken care of. There she goes again. Nothing is fine. No, 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 no. Nothing is fine. I ask you, you tell me everything is fine, like I said. But at the end of the day, I see you at the backyard vomiting. Oh, yes, I see. I have been watching you. 
Stephanie, I am your sister. I am your blood. You, you can confide in me anytime, any day. I am here for you. Please. Sister, what else do you want me to tell you? I've already told you that I'm fine. Okay. No, 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 it's okay. It's all right. If you insist, um, okay, so get yourself prepared. We'll go to see my doctor for checkup. Sister doctor? That will cost a lot of money. Besides, I'm fine. Hello? It is my money. My money. Okay? Go get yourself prepared. We're going for checkup. Capish? Let's go. Madam, Doctor. the result here indicates that she is six weeks pregnant, coupled with a slight malaria. <laughs> Doctor, please, I, I did not hear you clearly. Please, can you repeat it again? Please. I said the result here indicates that she is six weeks pregnant, coupled with a slight malaria. Pregnant? Yes. Six weeks? <laughs> Responsible. I'm not responsible. I'm stupid. Take it easy, madam. Please take your time to talk to her as an elder sister. I'm not responsible. I'm not responsible. Take it easy, madam. Please, this is an office. Remember, shouting at her will not solve this problem. Take your time to talk to her as an elder sister, and then you will find out who the person is. Okay, doctor, I'm going to name the results. Give me the results. You're pregnant now. Where your ma? I feel it. Pregnant. For, for who? How? What? Maybe that's why I've been waiting for you. Maybe as the man of the house, you talk to her, then she will confide in you. I don't know why she's not telling me anything. Um, uh, I think as a sister, you you will be in a better position to you know, do that. Honey, she is not talking. She's not talking. Ah. Uh. Hmm. It's okay, baby. Don't don't worry. I'll handle it. Huh? Have you seen any man around Steph before? No, I, I don't go out with her. Uh, she doesn't have a boyfriend, right? Honey, how am I supposed to know? I don't know. No worry, I'll get to the room. Hi! Steph, Steph, will not just kill me. doing this to me? Why are you doing this to yourself? Why don't you disclose who is responsible for your pregnancy? Or do you want to have an illegitimate child? 
No, sister. Okay, fine. Just tell me, please, tell me who is responsible for this child. So we can follow him up. You know, men of these days, once they hear their girlfriend is pregnant, they take to their heels. Sister, I am so ashamed of myself. I just feel like killing myself. Shh, don't, don't you ever say that again. Don't say that. Besides, that is a strong word for a woman to use. You don't have to be ashamed of yourself. I am here for you. I know it's a strong word to use. I know. But it's the best one for me to use in this kind of situation. Since I don't know what to do. Look, you know what you're going to do? You're going to tell me who is responsible for this child. So that he can take care of his responsibility. Sister. This is not a responsibility or stupidity. And I should be blamed for it. Dema. Good afternoon. Um, please, my dear, do you know of any Stephanie? She goes to the same extramural class with you. Is it the slim, light-skinned girl? Exactly, exactly. Please, um, have you seen her recently? No, ma. I've not seen her for quite some time now. Okay, do you know anyone that is close to her that can speak to, 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 to know her whereabouts, please? Uh, I think Evelyn will be in the right position to help you, ma. Please. Who is this evening? Oh, that's her. That's her coming. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank You're you awesome. so much. Okay. Thank you. I was meant to understand that you're very close to Stephanie. Yes, ma. We are very, very good friends. And in fact, she's my bestie. Ah, your bestie. Yes, you guys are quite close. That's all right. Um, I want to ask, do you know if Steph has any male friend? No, no, no. Stephanie doesn't keep any male friends. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the only friend she has. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, there's something I really want to discuss with you. Very important. Um, your friend. I'm her sister. Oh. I'm the sister she lives with. Oh. And I also want to let you know that Stephanie is pregnant. Wow. Ah. No, no, ma, I'm not aware of that. She's pre Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Um, are you still going further? But probably uh, I'll just drop you at home. No, ma. I was actually going down the road to get textbook, so I'll just start going now. Thanks for the offer, ma. You're welcome. And my regards to Steph. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay. Goodbye, ma. Honestly, sweetheart, the way you're going about this thing is not pleasing at all. One bit, it's not. Look, Steph is in a delicate condition. But whatever you say or do at this point may, may, may trigger a lot of things and will cause problems. Take it easy. Baby, for the past two weeks now, my daughter has refused to tell me who got her pregnant. Excuse me. Who's your daughter? Sorry, it was a slip of tongue. I mean, how can Steph, my sister, get pregnant under the same roof and I didn't know about it? 
calm down. Steph might be pregnant, yes. But she, she wouldn't be the first person. I mean, women get pregnant all the time. Okay, relax. I wonder why you're so far. Baby, I do not care if it happens to every woman. Steph is my sister. And I deserve to know who got her pregnant. And she's not even talking. My point is, however you decide to go about it, just be careful. That's all. Take it easy. Baby, the way I go about it is my business. Not your business. Relax. Expect a positive result. Relax. Good night. Honest, Steph, I don't think keeping this to yourself will do you any good. Why don't you just open up to your sister? At least tell her the truth about everything. It will lessen this pressure on you right now. I know. But the problem is how to go about it. I can't stand the shame and disgrace I've put myself into. I just feel so shameless. Oh, stop it. Stop it, Steph. You're not shameless. Now listen, you just have to muster courage and face it. And you know, nothing is hidden under the sun. Someday, somehow, the truth will come out. I know. But are you sure that will change the situation? Of course, yes, Jerry. It will. It will save everything going on. Just tell her. And you know your auntie will. If she finds out elsewhere, all hell will be left loose on you. No. No one else knows about it apart from you. Man. And what makes you think I wouldn't tell her if the pressure becomes too much? You know, you know your sister now. You know the way she is. If you talk to me, please. Hey, stop. Stop this. Calm down. Tell me. Have you met her before? Well, she came to the lesson time. Oh. Steph, will you let me talk? Calm down. She came to the lesson center and made inquiries about your pregnancy. <laughs> Steph, calm down now. Stop this. <laughs> How did she find out we are close? Tell me, please. Tell me. I oh, wouldn't know now. I wouldn't know. Maybe someone who knows we are close <laughs> told her I'll give her a link. Couldn't finish. Steph, I'm stop this I'm now. Why are you crying? You want to make me cry now? <laughs> Steph, stop. <laughs> I'm not best to anymore. I'm here for you. <laughs> it's okay. Everything will be fine. God, Stop I'm crying finished. already. Stop I'm this. finished. I'm finished. Just stop crying. I won't cry. Promise me. I will stop crying. I promise. Just do what I asked you to do. Tell her the truth about everything. And I promise you will be fine. Okay? I will tell her everything. I'll come here. I promise you won't cry again. Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm crying again. Thank you. Hello, Lima. Hello, hello, young lady, please. One minute. Can you please remind me where I met you? Um, yes, ma, the lesson. Oh, the lesson center, your evening. Yes, ma. Stephanie's girlfriend. Yes, ma. Oh, I can see you came to see her. Um, actually, I came to get a textbook, but since she doesn't have it, I'm leaving. A textbook she doesn't have? Yes, ma. Anyway, um, do you live around here? Mm, not really. I live at the street down. Oh, area L. Yes, ma. Oh, okay. All right. It was nice meeting you then. Okay, ma. I'll see you around. Bye, ma. Bye. decided to tell me who is responsible for your pregnancy. Steph, I also want to know if you have a friend, be it a male or a female at your lesson center. 
Yes. Okay, good. So, what's the name of this person? Evelyn. Evelyn? A female? Okay. Um, do you know where she stays? No. I haven't been to her house. Okay. Has she come visiting? I presume she was the one I met at the gate yesterday. So, what did she come for? same roof and I know you're more closer to her so therefore I know she must have told you who is responsible for her pregnancy am I not talking to somebody <sighs> auntie she didn't tell me of anybody but 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 what okay okay, okay wait um, Probably she told you not to tell me, right? Hmm? Auntie, I am not too sure, but I always see her with our kids, man. They play love together. I have seen them several times together. Even he gives her money each time. Huh? <laughs> It's man. Ndoka. Hey! Please, go and call me Stephanie. Go and call Stephanie for me. Hey! Jesus Christ. Madam, I'm innocent. I am innocent. You can't ask your sister. I did not do it. You did not do what? You did not do what? Huh? How can you impregnate my sister? Nduka, what have we done to you? So you are here to destroy my home, Nduka. Okay, if, if after everything I found out that you are the one responsible, what will happen to you? Madam, in fact, you can sack me. Sack me and let me not see good things I want in life. In fact, I will use my unborn children to swear. Nduka, Nduka, how many times did I call you? Madam, it didn't mean but it sounds like 1,000. Nduka, go in there. And think about it thoroughly. Think it very, very well. Let it get into your head and come back and meet me later. Nduka, hey, <laughs> Nduka, you don't want to involve my rot. You don't want my problem. Just go in there and think about it because I will destroy you. Idiot. Stupid idiot. <laughs> She's my only sister. She's my blood. Why can't she just open up to me? Angela, I have been talking to you for hours inside the house. Don't tell me I just wasted all my effort for nothing. Okay, why don't you keep talking to that her friend, Evelyn? I believe she's the one that will tell you what to do next. Hey, God. Oh, God. Victoria, I don't have the heart to contain this whole thing. How do I go about this thing now? Just tell me now. Nah, I don't know. I don't just know. Why can't she confide in me now? Angela, Angela, stop doing this to yourself. Stop! I believe whoever that is responsible for her pregnancy who should make a good in-law. <laughs> in-law? Yes. <laughs> when she has refused to tell me who the person is, I mean, what is there? We call the person, then the person comes for her introduction. That is all. Nah, eh? I, I don't 
I don't, I don't understand. I don't just get it. It's okay. She will tell you. Thank you so much for coming with me, considering the fact that you don't know me. I really want to ask you an important question. Evelyn, are you happy that your friend Stephanie is pregnant? Of course not, Auntie. I'm not happy. Okay, good. Do you love your friend and you would love to protect her interest? Of course I do. I love Steph very, very much. Evelyn, I beg you. The last time you visited, I know that she must have told you who impregnated her. So I ask you, I ask you, Evelyn, please tell me who impregnated Stephanie. Well, I'm, uh, Auntie, I'm not the one pregnant here, I'm sorry. And I think Steph would be in a better position to answer that question. And besides, it's only a pregnant woman that knows who's responsible. And where she has refused to tell me, what do you want me to do? Well, maybe you should just try harder, and I think she'll tell you one of these days. Evelyn, you just told me that you love my sister, and you would love to protect her interest. Why then, why don't you want to tell me who got her pregnant? Stephanie is about to give birth to a bastard. And when that child comes out, he will ask, where is my father? Evelyn. <laughs> Evelyn, no, no, no. I and, and you don't kneel for me. Please get up, please. I beg you, please tell me who got my sister pregnant. She is my only sister. She is my only blood. I beg you. Please get up. She's just my only sister. Please, I beg you. Well, it all happened two months ago. When Steph came to the lesson center and told me about the ugly incident. No, uh, Steph, you didn't expect anybody. See, you know that my friend is in the now. When she comes, just let her to come inside. I don't want her to come inside. Just let her know. Okay, uh, I will do just that. Okay. Uh, that one will get small body. Way they like this. They are talking to me. Uh, that one will get small body. You two, they play with everything. I beg they go. Hmm. What you're telling me or you're joking? Mama, this is not a joke. This is pure reality. Jesus. Mama, I could not even believe it when I found about it. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Am I going to face this kind of situation? Hey. Ah. Our village people. Hey. Mama, what are they going to say? <laughs> hey, God. You shouldn't have allowed such a shameful thing to happen to me now, eh? Mama, what do we do? What do we do, please? Uh, what about your husband? Have you discussed it with him? Mama, 
I just said I want to come let you know first because you're the one that just got to my head. Mama, we need to do something. You have to tell me what to do. <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay, okay. I think I have to go to the city with you. Okay. Hmm? Okay. When I get there, okay. I will confront Stephanie. Okay. Let her tell you why she did what she did. Okay. And Jawado. Hey! Hey! Stephanie, you have killed me. Hey! Mama! Evening, what happened? You didn't come yesterday as planned. I waited for you all through. Mm, Steph, yesterday was so, so hectic for me that I got engaged in some domestic chores up till night. I'm so sorry, okay? You're always sorry. <sighs> anyway, I called to tell you that it is high time I reveal the secret. Um, um, what, what, what secret is that? This pregnancy, of course. See, have you forgotten? You asked me to muster courage. And now I have the courage. All I want now is for us to know the way forward. Evelyn, is everything all right? Why the sudden change of mood? Evelyn, Talk to me. Well, Stephanie, I'm sorry. It's a little too late. What is little too late? Evelyn, don't tell me it's true. What I just thought of now. Please tell me it's not true. I'm sorry, Steph. I had to tell your sister the truth about her pregnancy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You what? Sorry. Why did you do this to me, Evelyn? Why? It was for your own good, Steph. It was for your own good. Don't touch me! I'm sorry, Steph! God, what have I done? Steph, how could you? How could you be so mean and wicked to your sister? Could you do such a silly thing with a man you know what he is to us? Ah, how could you betray your sister? Why would you stab her at her back? Mm, Steph, why would you bite her head without minding her hair? Mama, I know I'm to be blamed for all that has happened. <laughs> but believe me, it wasn't intentional. <laughs> I don't know why I let the devil use me this way. Mama, please. It was a mistake. <laughs> believe me. Mm. <laughs> so, how long has this been going on? For, for some months now. <laughs> For some time now, you've always rejected your food. Not to talk of the pensive mood you've indulged in. So tell me, is there any problem? No, <clears throat> there's no problem. Sir, this is exactly the same thing you told me the other day. And here you are looking so traumatized. So I know I'm not part of this family. But problem shared is half solved. I watch the face of between you and my sister almost on a daily basis. And here you are telling me that all is fine when it's not. Sir, I don't know how this might sound to you. Actually, I'm the cause of this, sir. 
So I don't mind going back to the village. At least, to return the peace that you guys once shared. Don't do that, Bafo. Don't even think of doing that. You're not the cause of the problem. Hmm? Then what? Because I'm really, really bothered about all those things. <sighs> Let's go inside. I'll tell you everything. Well, Steph, that has been the problem since then. My, 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 my wife has changed completely. From the good, loving wife she used to be to a totally different person, I do not understand. But, sir, uh, this shouldn't have been the problem between you and your wife. It's just for you to apply wisdom. Huh? I believe she will see reasons with you. Huh. Yeah. In applying wisdom and trying to make her see reasons with me, all to no avail. It's as if I'm doing the wrong thing. Sir, she's my sister, and I promise I will talk to her. Who knows? She might listen to me. God will bless you if you do. God will bless you if you do. Thank you so much. And when you do, tell her I love her. I love her so much, I will never do anything to hurt her. Yeah? It's so thinkable. Look at my own wife tell me to bring in another woman into my matrimonial home and sleep with her. I call the alcohol. Like I said earlier, I will talk to her. Let's see what happens after the end of the whole thing. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. So, can we go for you? Oh, yes, yes, it's fine. Can we? I'm bringing it. Okay. <laughs> Good day, sir. Good day, sir. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, uh, is my wife back? No, she's not yet back. But I'm sure she'll be back today. You know how it is in the village? Mother's seen her daughter after some time. A lot of discussion is born to take place. Steph, I want to thank you for your words of encouragement the other day. I really appreciate them. In fact, you don't know what you did for me. Um, prior to that time, I've been very unhappy. But you spoke to me and, I don't know, it's this, this peace that just came into my heart. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. She's my sister. And you are the husband, so you don't need to worry. After I have finished speaking with her, I know she will understand. <laughs> you pain and I brought you shame. I'm really very sorry. Honestly, I I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry. But I promise you we'll find a solution, okay? We'll find a way to fix this. Right? Forgive me. I'm sorry. Mama, 
to each and every one of you. I admit the entire fault is mine. Mama, I am ready to bring back the peace in this family. Even if it entails about in this pregnancy. <clears throat> um, um, Mama, I'm really very sorry. Believe me, from the depths of my heart, I am sorry. Um, Angela, my wife, Biko, forgive me. I am deeply sorry. You know, I, I didn't plan things to turn out this way. Believe me, I, I don't know what got into me, honestly. I don't know how it happened, but Biko, just, just forgive me. Please. Uh, concerning what she said, abortion. Because let's not go there. Please. Please. Let's not go there. Mama. 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 I'm going to my room. <laughs> You have time enough. My pregnant step. I know. I'm disappointed in you. I mean, how could you? How could you do such a thing? Knowing fully well that she is your sister in law. You have disappointed me. What you did is an abomination. I'm not Please, Mama. Mama, to err is human. To forgive is divine. Mama, please. Let us do away with the misgivings of the past and face the future, Mama, please. Please, Mama, be good. <laughs> you cannot turn the hand of the clock backwards. It is not possible. Eh? Even if you decide to do the abortion, hmm. even if you decide to do the abortion, the deed has been done. Mama, like I said earlier, I am ready to bring back the peace in this house. I am ready. Otun, how? How? All I'm saying is, let, let, let's put heads together and handle this like a couple, you know, like a family, like mature people. Huh? Ben, so you've been sleeping with my sister all this while. See, this thing is, it was a natural, uh, you know, occurrence. I, I know how to, it's not my fault. You know, I, I'm so sorry I couldn't resist the urge when it came calling. I try to understand. Ben, I will only forgive you, but I cannot forget it. Look, honestly, if we decide to call a space, this thing is actually your fault. Yes. You, you wanted so much to hear the cry of a baby in this house and you pushed me into this. Yes, I wanted to, but not settle it with my sister. Ben, you have broken my heart. You have betrayed me. Wait, 
isn't this obvious that this is a premeditated act? I didn't draw close to her intentionally. Uh, forces um, beyond us uh, brought us together. It's not my fault. But you see, this thing has happened. I would like us to look on the bright side of it. You know, maybe she's your sister. This is one family. We can keep this thing together, you know. Just keep it as a family, you know. Ben, how dare you? I, I, are you out of your mind? How dare you talk about my little sisters? Oh, God. 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 I should have known. I should not have brought her here. Ben, you're so wicked. You're so wicked. You made all this have been happening while I was away. You never bothered to call me. Do that friends for me. My brother. Fool boy. A boy have a local phone. Honestly, it's not the kind of discussion you have over the phone. <laughs> Fine. I admit I did it. Right? Steph and I, we, we, something happened. But I didn't mean to get her pregnant. Believe me, that wasn't the plan, frankly speaking. As it is now, what do you intend to do? My yeah, brother, I don't know. That's why I, I need you to advise me. Well, what do I do? I don't know. Oh. Okay, see. I'm going to ask you a question. And the answer to the question will determine your way forward. You and I know how much you truly need a child. Of course. Do you want to keep the baby? Or you want to terminate pregnancy? Alex. Yes. Before I answer your question, let me ask you my own question. Alright. Are you drunk? No. I've been trying to have a child for many years. Now I'm about to become a father. You want me to abort my child? Is he gazing? No. It, it's, it will never happen. It's not an option. Cancel. Then, that's the truth it all. Going to this, call your wife. Talk to her. Make her understand and she, she will see reasons with you. That's the problem. I've done that. But she doesn't want to understand. She doesn't want to see reasons with me. I don't know. In fact, she believes it wasn't a mistake that I went all out to impregnate her uh, sister. What do you expect her to think in the first place? Remember, she practically begged you to, to, to get another woman and get her pregnant, but you refused. That's exactly what I've done. Another woman is pregnant for me. You know why everybody wants to kill me? So what do I do? It will be one day, you know. Okay, you see. Um, I would suggest you let it lie low now. Within shortest possible time, I think the whole thing will die down naturally and take a normal shape. And after they call her and explain to her, she will understand. Mm.
explosion and the pressure First of all, let me <clears throat> let me apologize for my action. I'm, I'm really very sorry for what I did. I'm not proud of it at all. Because, uh, I I wouldn't want you to start blaming um, Steph. I know her very well. She would not do anything. She would never ever do anything to hurt her sister or to to stab her in the back never Pico I take the blame for what happened hundred percent and I'm really sorry about it all I'm asking right now is for you to show her love show her love as a mother knowing her condition Pico I love my child though Nothing will make me not to love her. Cannot deny my love for her. But the question is, what do we do now? Uh, Mama, you know that for many years we have tried so much to have a child. Um, hasn't been possible. Um, you know, I, 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 I want to see the positive side of this situation. I would like to believe that it just may be the hand of God in, in our lives, you know. So, based on that, I'm saying, let us keep this child. At least it will prove to the whole world that I can father a child. Miko. Did anyone say you cannot father a child? Mbano. Angela told me that she had series of miscarriages. What other evidence is anybody looking for to know that you're a man? I don't care in the show power on Steph. I don't understand though. Like I said before, I'm not proud of it at all. I'm, I'm sorry. But, you know, considering the situation, at least you know. You know it's not my fault. What about the people outside? They do not know. How will they see me? Biko, eh? let us keep this child. Even if it means marrying her. Eh? Mbao, hey, Ben, what you're asking for is beyond me. I can't even let you have that child, let alone Marina. How do you possible? Why? Ah, Ben, what you did was very unreasonable. It was so unimaginable. Hey, Mbao, yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, I, I really don't understand. Uh, at the right time, you will understand one. You will understand. Oh God, I'm sorry for the sins that have befallen me. 
even if I die while giving birth. Let me find a place in your bosom. I can't continue with this shame anymore. How do I face my sister for the rest of my life? What would people say? This is an art that will forever remain indelible for the rest of my life. God, why me, God? I'm sorry. Ben, do you mean she said you can have the baby or marry her? That's what she said. What did she give us a reason? Hmm. She said I will find out soon. You will, you will soon find out what? Exactly, I don't know. This is what she told me at the end of our discussion. But it's a very common thing in the world of today. A man marrying two sisters. Of course. It's, it's not a taboo. Yes. They should allow what happened to be a bygone and forge ahead in life. My brother, that's the thing. Nobody wants to see it that way. No, they, they, they don't believe it's a mistake. Everybody feels I, I planned this whole thing and they are looking at me, seeing me like, like I committed an abominable act. It's just it's crazy. It's okay, man. It's okay. You see, the power of your personality is when you stand the wall and you yourself tell who you are. Just try to be strong. Okay? happened that is life for you you see this life it is filled with ups and downs it is a mixture of the good the bad and the ugly what has happened is not the end of the world just calm down don't allow anger to overwhelm you because it reduces the respect and strength of you huh? Go take it easy. Mama, I'm so ashamed of this act. Hello. Mama, how can I face the rumor out there in the society? Uh, Mama, imagine. Just, just imagine. Steph! Carry my husband's child! It's, it's unbelievable! No, no, no. Ada? You have to calm down. Eh? You will have BPO. You will develop high blood pressure. Eh? You have to calm down. I have told you that the future is a lot better and greater than the past. And for you to see that future, you have to be focused. Forget what people will talk. Because if you do good, though, they will talk. You do bad, though, they will talk. Eh? Please just calm down. Oh? Ben. <laughs> you could have told me you never wanted me alive. Oh! Oh! You didn't see me! Mama! Ada! Ada, you have to calm down. Hey! I told you that. Tomorrow is greater than today. And you need to be focused to face that tomorrow. Hmm? Mama, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It's okay, it's okay. I don't want you to go down memory lane. I don't want you to go down memory lane. Oh I pleaded with you. I begged you. I'm sorry. 
Forgive me now, let's move on. It's okay. Will I kill myself before you forgive me? The thing is, I am trying so hard to control my temper. Please do not make me lose it. Please lose it. It's better for us. Lose it. I can't continue seeing myself as a, a, a betrayer or something. Lose it. It will be fine. You have no right whatsoever to accept this test. So why are you being worried? I'm only worried because it's affecting my life. All right, I've paid you. This thing has happened. Let's move on. The earlier we understand it that way, the better for everybody. I wonder what you're worried. <laughs> or you want to tell me how you derive pleasure being with her on bed? Oh. Or you want to tell me how she screams or bed or something? That's Shut up! What has come over you? Shut up! Don't ask me what's going on. I should be the one asking you. You are trying to confirm this. You are a man. Well done, sir. Thank you. Let me sleep. Oh God, please help me. I'm so speechless. Oh. oh.
everything. Okay. Well, yes, she's first one to treatment. Please, who are you to her? Well, I was just passing by when I saw the position of the car inside the bush. It occurred to me that the car must have missed his truck. So I checked only for me to see her resting her head on the steering with a lot of blood coming out of her mouth. So I decided to help. Oh, that was very thoughtful of you. Man, the problem now is how do we get to reach any of our relations or somebody close to her? I saw this phone beside her. Thank you. I may do with this. At least I can go through her contacts if you are rich her relation or anybody. Thank you so much. Do have a nice day. Accident. Hey, my God. What, what, what happened? How? Oh, okay, no problem. I, I, just, I hope she's okay. Which, which hospital? Where, where is she now? Oh, no problem. I, I'm coming there right away. All right, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Ben, your wife was brought in here by a good Samaritan who witnessed the incident and decided to bring her to the nearest hospital. That's why she's here. Thank God, thank God. How is she? How is she doing? What's her condition like? Hope she's okay. Well, we just discovered that she's bleeding from the nose. Hey. But thank God everything is under control now. Just take it easy, she'll be fine. All you need to do is to make necessary payments so that once she regains consciousness, we can carry out further tests on her. No, no problem. That, that, that won't be a problem, eh? Just... I 
remember your word in Psalm 121, where you promised that you will never let our feet be moved. I've always trusted you. I've always believed in you. Why did you let this happen? Why? Hey, Angela. Angela. Hey, Mama is okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama. Mama be cold. I'm sorry. Hi. Mama is okay, please. Angela. Hey. Mama is okay. Hi. I never knew the last time she visited this village. With the, the last day I will set my eyes on her. Hey! Terrible. Hey! Who okay. changed It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Put yourself together. There's no amount of tears we shed that will bring her back. She's gone. The same thing I do now. If you try. I had to cry from now till the end of the week. <laughs> what of Stephanie? I hope she's fine against this. Because I know how we feel going with this one. Someone very dear to us. It's very painful. It's really very hard of me to do that not to cry. That's the other one. Because of her condition. And she did well. <laughs> Now, I will go and uh, tell my family members what happened. When are you going back to see? Tomorrow. I'm also thinking of taking her home. This place should be quite lonely. Well, if you say so. If you say so. Please, please, pull yourself together. You will fall sick. Please, put yourself together. Do right. you want to join us? We are going to My son, you have to take heart. That is not the end of the world. Please, let's keep going. Hello, Gozia. Hola. Mama. Mama. If you had listened to me, if you had listened to me when I told you that children come at God's own time, I do not produce children. No human being produces children. If you had listened to me, all these things would have happened. Look at it now, Mama. My wife's younger sister is pregnant for me. And then my wife... My wife is dead. Are you happy now? Hey, Mama. Who be a My son. You don't have to blame me. I'm only playing the role of a mother. Every mother who truly understands what I am saying will think the same thing. Please, I beg you. At least you have seen the result. I guess you are happy now. Hey. My son, I love you so much. And that is why I need the best for you. Ah, it is the duty of a mother to protect his son. That's all. You don't expect me to go silent when I see my son marries without a new shoe for. I cannot continue to train other people's children when I know that I have a son who can give me my own grandchildren. Very soon, Obina will finish from secondary school and his parents will come to take him back again. As usual. Ha! Together with other people who we have been trained here, 
Is that how you want us to continue? Is that okay by you? Mama, please. Biko, 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 allow me. Just allow me to grieve in peace. To not remind me of the, the, the things that led to my wife's death. Hey, who said that I'm not consigned? She's my daughter-in-law and I love her so much. Huh? I cannot dispute that. Biko, what are you contributed to her death. I feel like going with her. Tell me, what will people say because a betrayal or a murderer? Stop Help me. Stop me. Stop me. Stop me. Stop it, Steph. Please. Stop it. On the contrary, you are not a murderer. Neither are you a betrayer. It was only a situation you couldn't handle. Steph, in a situation like this, which is very delicate, you don't really need to think too much. Thinking will help matters, so please, will you stop crying and thinking? I beg you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for your concern. Also, Steph, I would like to tell you that I'll be going back to the north since we are done with our exams. My parents called me and asked me to come over to continue my studies there. But Steph, I really want to ask you against me. Grudge? What for? I mean, I'm sorry. I really do apologize for everything that happened. And for telling your sister everything, you know. I was afraid with the way she, she, she interrogated me and she came on and off into the lesson center. I was really, really afraid. I'm really sorry. Please, I'm sorry. And you know, if my auntie gets to find out about this, hell will be let loose on me. I'm sorry for being an intruder in a matter that doesn't concern me. Please forgive me. Evelyn, even if it didn't come from you, the truth must surely prevail. I understand your fears, okay? That it will be remembered anywhere and at any time. But promise me one thing. I always be by your mom. She needs it now than ever. I will. I will. I couldn't believe it when you told me about your wife's death. I am deeply concerned the way you feel right now, coupled with the problems that you're facing. I would advise you to take out because um, death is an inevitable act. It's, a, it's something that everybody must pay. No matter how big or small you are, you must surely pay the price. And please, I will urge you to apply wisdom in anything you say or do at this point in time. Please, take heart. Hmm. Oh, Manus, <clears throat> thank you so much for your 
words of encouragement. I really appreciate your presence here. Thank you. That's okay. That's okay. And one more thing. Please try as much as you could to be beside her sister, her younger sister, before she will get psychologically affected. Okay? Yeah. That's by the way. How's the bear plans going? It's going well. I'll be going back to the village to continue a few other arrangements, but it's, it's going great. Okay. for the death of my sister. The seed of this cult, the devil planted through me, triggered her sudden death. Within me, life is no longer meaningful because I see myself as a murderer. <laughs> I am sorry, I am sorry, I am sorry! <laughs> Shh. Life has just thrown another blow at me. Another tragedy has befallen me. Hey, Ada. My Ada is gone. Gone forever. Mama, please, I am sorry. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey. Mama, please, I'm sorry. Please, Mama. Mama, please, I'm sorry. I called you because I have thought about this whole thing and um, I've taken a decision. What is the decision? We have fought like mere mortals, mere human beings. But whether we like it or not, God has the final say. <clears throat> now that um, Angela's burial has come and gone, we don't have any other choice than to adapt to the situation at hand. I've come to realize that it is neither your fault nor Stephanie's. This whole thing to, took Angela's life because she failed to realize that one should not allow situations to change who the person is. I have um, decided to take Stephanie back to the village with me. Mm. Mm. Don't go there. Like you don't go. It was even me. Yeah. You want to kill me? I lost my wife. 
Now you want to take Stephanie away and subject me to a world of loneliness or cousin. I don't understand what you're saying, no. What brought us together was Angela. Eh? And now that she she's no more. Let Stephanie put to bed first. Mm -hmm. After that, we'll have sit down and discuss the way forward. Ah, ma'am. I was waiting for this. That is the only thing you're concerned about, her pregnancy. Well, then, she is my daughter. And I decide what she does. She's going home with me. Biko. I understand all you've said, but I don't think going back to the village is the best thing. Mm. So what is the best thing? For you to stay here and be tormented every day? Is that what you want? Far from it, Mama. All I'm saying is that going back to the village will result in nothing but revealing the secret which we've always kept. What secret, if I may ask? This pregnancy, of course. How are we going to reveal it to men? Steph, now I know that this, your pregnancy, is more important to you than your late sister. Please, oh, I don't want to remember things I have decided to let go. Because if I start, I will not stop. Mama, Mama, going back to the village is not the best. I am the one wearing the shoes and I know where it pinches. Ah! Why are you giving that useless proverb of yours that you don't even know what it means? Eh? Listen, you know, I was just waiting for the burial to be over. For us to go back. Now that it's over, it is time for us to go back to our base. The sooner we do it, the better for us. No, Mama. End of story. We're not going to talk about this anymore. Start getting ready. Uh, frankly speaking, then, this matter is taking a very difficult dimension. I would advise you should be careful in decision making. Okay? Brother, I just don't know what's happening. Honestly, it, it's like I'm. I'm in a puzzle, you know, a puzzle. I don't, I don't know whether to go left or go right. I'm not even in control of my life anymore. Things are just happening. I don't know what's going on. You know, what surprises me in all this is, why did you come up with this idea? No. When they know that you truly need this child? Of course. Would they keep to wallowing the shadow of their past when we know that the future is bright? What has happened has happened. We just need to put it behind us and forge ahead. By the way, Hi, Steph. Have you spoken to her about all this? Mm. No. Ah, I will advise you to have had to hard talk with her. You understand? Have you had to hard talk with her and then uh, try to be strong? I know how you feel, man. I understand. Be strong. Okay? What is really going on? Why would this situation befall me now that I'm about to prove myself to the society? To prove that I'm a, I'm a man? Why now? Why? How do I convince her on this? God, I'm so confused right now. was also my daughter-in-law. Please do find a place in your heart to forgive so we can move on. Because I've got no problem. I have already put everything behind me like you advised. There's no problem. If I may name I want to assure you 
that my son will still stay all through her pregnancy period until she delivers. Unfortunately, my in-law, I have already made up my mind to take Stephanie back home. Uh, so we have to go. The business we had with you people was my daughter Angela, and now she's dead. We have to go back to where we came from. Isn't it better for her to stay here and deliver her baby than taking her back to the village? Apart from that, we have qualified doctors here in the city who can be able to take care of her, considering how it happened. Hmm? You know she's still a child. Hmm? Ogum. Unfortunately, my in-law, Stephanie is my daughter, not yours. Uh, moreover, your son is neither married to me nor Stephanie. But to Angela. Well, she is my daughter, not your own. So I decide what happens to her, not you. Hey, she is still my daughter. Who is your daughter? Hey, village one. Can you go and get with village? Mama, you sent for me. Ah. My daughter. Huh? I sent for you. I want to lay a heartfelt apology for what my son did to you. Please, for the sake of your late sister, forgive him. He is becoming absent minded. On a daily basis, please. Hmm? I've heard you, Mama. Thank you. One more thing. Do you accept the idea of what your mother just said? of taking you back to the village. Mama, she is my mother. And whatever decision she takes, is okay by me. Besides, if you look at it from the general perspective, she's not wrong. You know you are the one that is truly concerned in this matter. Your decision determines our way forward. Mama, Mama, what do you want me to say? My daughter, I know it will be difficult for you to say, but I want you to convince her that going back to the village is not the best option now. Please. Mama, I know it's my decision to make, but my mother's decision also counts, hey. not mine alone. Please, Mama, you just have to understand me, please. Because you're my mom, because you Please, I beg of you. Mama, please, let me be quiet. So, my son, I think she's going by the footstep of her mom. But I cannot succumb to their decision. Not now that I'm about to carry my grandchild. So, what do you think we should do? I think she needs another kind of different approach. I think so. Hi, what can you do? Mother. Do you think this whole thing will pass away someday? Ah, my son, it will now. Of course it will. Just be optimistic. That's all. On the contrary, 
I have a lot of businesses with steps if you must know. Okay. okay. Starting with which one though? Starting with the baby she is carrying. I see that you fail to understand simple. Simple fact. What is the simple fact? The simple something that she is carrying my grandchild. And I will not allow that my grandchild to just disappear like that. Not after so many years of lamentation to God. Look at this woman. Oh! So you planned everything. So you were the one that masterminded everything your son did. Eh? You don't even know the gravity of the sin your son has, has committed. Which sin? If I may ask you. Is it the first time that one is requesting to get married to two sisters? Yeah. If I may ask you. Eh? Can you tell me why you, why you don't want to rest? Therefore, you see you, you, you are a very desperate mother-in-law. Oh God, you put a small mother. You are a desperate mother-in-law. All you want is a grandchild. You don't even care where and how that child comes into being. You want a grandchild. You put a small mother. Who know how it feels for an only son huh? to be battling with the issue of 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 whom of whom for so many years? Never can you turn one and turn them? Can you turn them? Here we go. You want to know why you are going to make a sad forever? No. Okay, okay. There is no problem. I want to go. Just give me the key. Let me carry my shallow mind back to the village where I belong. No condition can ever. Is it? Oh no, ma. Is that another? Please give me the key. What is that? Name key. Mama, bring it. Give me that key. Just bring it. Don't touch me. 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 Don
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the baby, my, my, my baby, my boy. Mother and child, you yeah, me. What was the word? Okay, 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 Well, for now, no. Okay, um, within 30 minutes time, you can be allowed to see her. Yeah. Yes, yes. But, but she's fine, eh? Very okay. And the baby is my boy. Mother and child, doing better. <laughs> I think I have the opportunity now that she has put to bed. Yes, it is the right time. Yes. Mama. Mama. Mm -hmm. Hey. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Oh. Mama, where is Ben and Mama? Um, they want to bring your baby back. My in law, I wish to say sorry for what happened the other time. I didn't mean to oppose your decision, considering how emotionally chattered you are. Please, I'm very sorry. Forgive me. There's no problem. I understand your quest. I forgive you. Hey, thank you. Now that the whole thing is over, there is something I want to ask you. And I don't want you to say no. Well, if it is within my reach, why not? Allow my son to marry your daughter. At least to make up to the loss of Angela. Have you taken time out to ask why I am never comfortable with that issue? Who does not know that what is being held at time hmm? does not require neuro for clarification? It's very odious. Now that the whole thing is over, please I want us to become good in us. Because yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Well then, um, I've come to realize that you can only keep a secret for some time before spilling it. How do you mean secret? Uh, it's okay, my you know, you know later. I hope it's not affecting our discussion. At the right time, you will find them. So, my son, that was how it went. She practically did not tell me her reasons. But I think there is more to this. Well, if you ask me, I think uh, she's actually finding it difficult to accept because of the situation um, surrounding you know, the whole thing. Mm. I think it's far from the idea because I could see it in her eyes. Uh -huh. Yes. So you're saying um, her refusal actually there's, there's more to it? I believe it's, it has an attachment to it. Yes. Stephanie! Stephanie! Has it come to the extent of coming to the backyard and start crying like this? Why are you shedding tears? I've always told you that crying cannot stop anything out of this. Huh? Human beings are prone to circumstance and we cannot stop it. The early, the better you pull yourself. The better for us. Now, if I'm not you, am I not your mother? Am I not supposed to be your mother? Why is it that you cannot listen to me? <laughs> I 
I was talking to you the other time. I told you that this child is going to be a blessing to this family. And as long as I'm concerned, that is it. So, what I'm trying to tell you, please, the earlier the better you pull yourself, the better for all of us. I don't want you to start doing all these things. Please. Oh yeah, let's go inside. Huh? Let's go inside. It's okay. My daughter, let's go inside. Get up. Angela would have been in a better position to say this. But death. Death wouldn't let her. your mother. Angela was a biological mother. I'm just your grandmother. She had you when she was still in the village. She left you in my care when you were just two years old. Before she went to the city with her friends in search of a job. This woman you've always called your mother is not your mother. She's your biological mother. Mama. Mama, you mean to tell me that you're not my mother? Mama, tell me it's not true. Mama, tell me it's not true. Angela was a biological mother. I'm just your grandmother. Mama, how could you? Mama, how could you hide this from me all this while? How could you, Mama? I, I didn't know how to explain it to you. Please forgive me. <laughs> Victim of this circumstance. It's only best way for us to tackle this thing positively. Please, I beg you. It is only death that has no solution. I beg of you. Woman. Thank you. 
prefer you in the name of your late sister. I mean, mother. Please, don't leave me. You are everything I have now. I have lost everything but you. Please stay with me. I, I know your mother should have told you that she, she was your mother before she died. But she was all, only human. We are humans who are bound to make mistakes. She couldn't take it. She could not accept it when she found out you were pregnant for her husband. Please forgive her. I beg you in the name of God, forgive her. <laughs> forgive me too. Stay with me. <laughs> Mom, I am sorry. <laughs> I am sorry, but it's too late now. Like you said, I have to accept it. I have to. Where are you going? How does that affect you? Tell me. I just want to tell you. Thank you for being a good grandmother to me. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Mama, please. Please, my daughter, please, one, please, I thank you. Please, please forgive me. Oh, me, please. Oh, my, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't bear this anymore. I can't. I have to go. I can't take it. I can't. Steph. Everybody in an awkward situation, I understand, but because for the sake of this child and your mother, don't do this. And I beg you. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. I forgive you, babe. Thank you. So, what happens to our baby? Ben, are you supposed to know what happens to this baby? I can't stand the mystery behind his birth. In why? Do you even know what happened to me? Please, I'm sorry. Please forgive us. Please. Because they are not.
Bunda. <laughs> it's unfortunate that the first time I had to call you brother was in your grave. <laughs> brother, please. I didn't mean to betray you. I am sorry. <laughs> Please find it in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> Mother, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you wish to tell me the truth as regards my birth. But the condition didn't allow you. <laughs> Instead, I allow the devil to plant the seed of this God that destroyed the entire family. I blame myself for all that I know. I blame myself for all I blame myself. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my symbol of love for you. I still love you, and I will always love you, mother. She will pass. Say no more. Good night, mother. Good night. Good night. Good night, mother. Good night. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even one cobble on your head as that way. So you have to go back to yourself. Go back to them. Talk to them. Tell them what you're saying. And ask them questions. And of course. to your mother. The only person I have now is Stephanie. I don't know why she has decided to be talking to herself. 
Okay, can I just go inside? No, 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 no. Don't worry, I said. You'll be alright. Just push it. Please. Help me from this place. I don't know what to say. Shadlessness. The place destruction and depression. I called this meeting for us to help our son, Ben, who has been passing through some difficulties recently. It is no longer news how his wife died and uh, the aftermath of it. I want us to brainstorm on what to do to the newborn baby that he had with his late wife's daughter. Say! Abomination! Iyabaro! Amadi, Amadi, let him finish. Huh? Let him finish. He, he, he has finished now. What else has he to say? How can you be living with the person you call your wife? And at the same time, you are sleeping and fornicating with a girl that lives with you people. Mbano, Aru. Aru, Mbano. Yes, the deed has already been done. There's nothing we can do about it. Eh? Hmm. What we should be thinking of now is how to proffer a solution to the problem. Because you cannot throw away the baby and the bathwater. Eh? Nzelo, what then is the solution to this problem? How can we solve this problem, Nzelo? I suggest we go to our in-laws and request that they give us the baby. After all, it's our own blood. <gasps> that is my husband's. I need your help in this matter. Please, 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 please. Please. It's all right. You don't need to need before us, our wife. You're our wife. Please sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Please sit down. There is no problem in this world without solution. Every problem has solution. Except death. Even death has solution. Death has solution. The death has to be buried. And not in all case, so. Not in all case. Please, my husband. Please, Amadi. I know that what my son did is not good. But it wasn't his fault. It was all a mistake. Please, just have a faith. I have a little peace in your heart to forgive him. Please, I beg you. Our wife, Ben, has spoken to us about this. It's okay. We've heard him. He has gone to, his, to their place. He has gone there to meet with them. They now ask him, to meet with you people. That's all right. Mm. Has he come back here to meet with us and ask relevant questions? Has he? Y yes, eh? he did. He did. He did. Uh -huh. uh, that is why I called this meeting. Uh, what do we do now? Um, I think we leave the child to them now. <laughs> no, 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 not that. Uh, we will send an elder to them to talk to them. Um, if they insist, we come back to think what to do. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Yes. Uh, so when are we going to meet with our in-laws? And who is going with them? Uh, um, I think his mother here, Gladys. Eh? You can go with the Ben. <laughs> go. She is, after all, she's an elderly woman. Amadi, Let her go. Amadi, <laughs> shut up your mouth. Did you take an alcohol before coming to this meeting? Did you take an alcohol? Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you talking to me? Sit down! Let me clean here. I'm at it. Huh? Please sit down. Sit down. Look at this. Sit down. Sit down. I'm not a muscle. An analog elder like you. It's an analog. It's okay. Is that the ground? Look, there's no need for us to quarrel over this matter. What we should be thinking of is how to profile a solution to this problem. Huh? Why would you be like this? Hi. Anyway, I, I volunteer. I will, I will go with Ben. Go and see the this is human being. Huh? Not, no, not human. this logo. No, okay, it's all right. It's but okay. you, Ibekwe, Ibekwe, I'm waiting for you on the road. Look, I will, I will kill you today. Don't be coming. No, 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 no. no. Keep cackling no, dangerous no, nonsense. Oh, yeah. I'm like someone in the middle of the road. Um, we greet you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, people say that when you go on a peace talk, 
whatever judgment you pass there will follow you back to your own house. Our son and brother, Ben, he has told us what you said concerning the child, on whose name it will be. We believe in tradition very strongly. And we know that the tradition is one and the same in Igbo land. It is true that our son impregnated your daughter, which led to the birth of this baby. And it is also true that he did not pay anything on her head as the custom and tradition of our land demands. And the implication of this is that the child is not ours, but yours. <sighs> it changed, Alan. You are an orator. And uh, you've spoken like a wise elder, which you are. Thank you very much, sir. What your son did is an abomination. It's an abomination. And I, Chiokeke, will not tolerate that. But, hmm, we cannot bring the cutlass down with the weight and height we have raised our hand. We have been laws for a long time. And uh, Ben here has been like my son all the time. So, we shall find a solution to that. Uh, Jesse, hmm? what have you to say? No, no, no. In this situation, she is not in the mood to talk now. Why don't they go home? Why we come back again when the situation calms down? Uh, my English. Yes. Like I said earlier, I am here to represent my people. And they expect a report back home when I get back. So please, uh, I want us to conclude this matter. here and uh, the immediate brother to Uchechi's late husband. I'm saying that uh, that child is Ben's blood. But he will remain in the arms of the mother until of age and be in a position to decide or choose whose name to answer. While in the meantime, Ben and any of our any of his relatives like you people can visit. Hmm. So I think I've spoken my mind. Thank so I spoke. I, I think this is a very beautiful okay. one. We are really happy. And I think my people back home will be happy to hear this. They are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now you can. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh 
I'm like someone in the middle of the road Nowhere to go Nowhere to go I'm the funded Oh God I'm a mobu chine nye mwa Oh Lord please help me Help me from this place Shadlessness can cause destruction. <laughs>